Somebody gave me an expression years ago, which was to live your life in a place of gratitude. And I think that's sort of part of the same continuum, that if you're grateful for what you have and grateful for the opportunities you have and grateful for the, the gifts you've got in your own life, you're automatically compassionate for the absence of some of those things in others. You know, it started small. I volunteered to be a loaned rep back in the mid 2000s. And I was at a time in my career where I had some the ability to get away from my work for a little while. So I thought that'd be a neat way to sort of investigate what community meant and how to get engaged and how to get involved with community. So I took four months out to do that. And then I think you see the work that gets done and you see the need that there is in the community for people to do work. Uh, and that's why I stayed. And it's been I don't know, almost 10 years of involvement with United Way. It's been a huge part of my life and a terrific part of my life. I'm, I, I feel blessed to have been able to be engaged with the organization for so long. A healthy community is based on filling the needs of everyone. And so those that can't help themselves, United Way has to help. Fortunately, United Way has done a good job. Well, this is one of our United Way's most important awards, and we reserve it for people who have made the most significant contribution to the work we do. Yuri's done every single possible volunteer role, right from loaning himself as a, as a loaned representative for four months to chairing our board and everything in between. I think uh, Yuri is a true example of a philanthropist that personally will give his time and also his, his money in support of a, a cause that's important to him. And I think Yuri really believes in the United Way cause. We know here at Boys and Girls Clubs that kids are really important to Yuri. From the beginning of the existence of Boys and Girls Clubs, United Way has been a funder of ours. Without Boys and Girls Clubs, there'd be 12,000 kids and families right here in the Lower Mainland that didn't have support that they need to have a good life. Yuri's a young leader, young entrepreneur in our city. He also represents the future of philanthropy in our city. It's important to young entrepreneurs to realize that they have a responsibility. And Yuri represents that. He represents somebody who's young, who's been successful, and realizes the importance and the responsibility of giving back to his community. When I see Yuri do what he's doing with his time schedule, Sometimes I feel I am too busy in my work and I say, well, if he can do it, then I should be able to do it as well. When I see his commitment, his passion towards an organization like United Way, it makes me want to contribute more and emulate him. And I think probably the best advantage he has over everybody is that wonderful Australian accent that he has. And uh, anybody with an accent like that is even more convincing than the average person. When I heard that that Yuri was receiving this award, it just seemed like that's the right thing. Of course it's Yuri. Of course he would be honored in this way. Beyond the things he does in the community, it feels like it's actually honoring who Yuri is as a person. He wants to give and he wants to contribute. And that, I think, comes through every part of him and every everything he does. When I met Yuri about 10 years ago, there weren't too many young guys that were involved in United Way. And here was a young guy that decided that United Way was important in the community. And he decided to volunteer. And then he came up through the ranks. So to Yuri, I say congratulations. It's well deserved. I think for me, over 10 years with United Way, I've been privileged to meet so many extraordinary people. And what I've really gained is watching other people in action, making a huge contribution and making community change. And I think that the volunteer slash philanthropist that you become is a piece of all of the volunteers and philanthropists you've met along the way. Uh, and as I said, I've been blessed to meet some real community superheroes. Uh, and I hope I've been able to take a little piece of all of those people. And, uh, and the way I engage in the community now is, uh, a jigsaw puzzle of all of those people that I've met along the way and it's been so gratifying for me.